hello beautiful glam girls glam fam glam everyone welcome back to my channel so <laughs> Today's video is going to be a haul. I feel like I'm a little too low. Is that better? Okay So today's gonna be a little haul yesterday I was in the city and I actually did a little shopping for myself because my birthday's in a few days <laughs> February 15th. I talk about it every two minutes because I love my birthday and it's a time to celebrate me. Okay, so <laughs> So I did a little shopping I actually filmed an IGTV live and I was gonna save it as an IGTV video and they fucking deleted it. They didn't give me a chance to post it. So I'm redoing it here for you on YouTube. Wow, I'm feeling myself. Your girl lost 17 pounds and she's hype, won't cry. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. It's not a lot, but I got myself some stuff from Sephora because we stand. We stan her. We stan her for taking out the trash. Because makeup has always been great. We don't need you to make it great again. You whitewashed piece of... So, and I also went to um, Anthropology and Zara. I'm going to do those first. So, at Zara, I picked up this really cute necklace. This is the... I don't know. It doesn't have a name. It's just a necklace. But uh, it's really, really cute. It's like this thick, heavy, like Cuban link chain kind of necklace. I really like it. Um, I'm really into these kinds of necklaces right now, especially like the Dior one that has the CD on it. But that one is like $600. And I don't know if I want to spend $600 on like costume jewelry. So to kind of scratch that itch, I got this one. It's really heavy, really nice. I like it. So I got that. And then at Zara, I also picked up this like Chandler Bing inspired um, sweater vest. Love the color. And it's so nice and stretchy and warm. Ugh. I think this is going to look really cute with a, like a white button down underneath or something like that. And then I think it will look really cute with the necklace as well. Or like you could pair this with like a blazer. Anything like that I think will look so nice with this. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. This was $39.90 and I got a size large. And I don't see... A name like a style but if I find these pieces down below I'll link them in the description and then I went to anthropology and they were having an extra 50% off sale items so they had like a bunch of like scarves and sweaters and things like that and I picked up this scarf I needed like a nice white scarf that I could wear with anything that wouldn't clash and it's not super bright white it's like a very nice bone kind of color and I love the little fringies and it's not too heavy, it's not too big and wide. It's perfect for just like wrapping around your neck, giving you that really glam, like glam chic vibe. So yeah, I picked this up for $9, $9 at Anthropology. So yeah, had to take that home because you can never go wrong with a nice white scarf. Okay, so for makeup, Let's get into it. So from Sephora, the first thing I picked up is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. So I actually love this foundation. I'm trying to get where the lighting is better. I actually love this foundation. Let's see, is that better? I have the original and I've had this since it first came out. This is the foundation I wore on my wedding day. I'm obsessed with this foundation. But they reformulated it and mine is running out so I had to pick up a new one and I'm interested in how it compares to the old formula. I love this formula so I'm really hoping that they didn't, you know, decrease the pigmentation. I can understand if they made it a little less thick and a little less cakey. I'm okay with that but I hope that it didn't lose its pigmentation. Um, let me open it up and maybe I could do a quick swatch comparison just on my hand i'm actually wearing this foundation mixed with something else today oh my god it looks so nice when it's brand new like look at the okay guys so my camera died and then i had to empty out the sd card and all that stuff but i was saying that i hope that they don't change the formula um i'm gonna do a little swatch comparison right here right now so i'm gonna put a little dollop of the original one right off the bat the colors look different i feel like the new this is the new one 
trying to get it to focus so right off the bat i don't know if it's my lighting but like the colors are different so it looks like the new one is darker which really sucks because I'm used to using this color because it matches my body but look how much darker this one looks oh damn I might have to get a different color the colors are completely different I feel like the undertones are the same but the new one is definitely darker I also feel like the old one is definitely cakier thicker um the the consistency is different this one is a lot more luminous, a lot more liquidy. It's moving around a lot better. This one dry is drying down already. So definitely a difference in the texture just automatically and the color. That makes me so sad because I really do love the original. And I really hope that I still love it because I was finally happy that I found like a brown girl, even though I'm very pale right now. I'm not usually this pale. The pandemic really just sucked the melanin out of me. But I was finally happy to find like light brown girl friendly foundation that I didn't have to mix to get the right color. And then it's like now they changed it. <sighs> anyway, so I'll be testing that out. I'll probably do a foundation review video here on the beauty channel. And then, um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. And the next thing I picked up is the Rare Beauty Concealer. This is the... Um, I got number 140C because I couldn't really tell the colors. I couldn't really tell, but um, I really like the packaging. Very, like, modern, clean packaging. And then I like the actual um, product packaging as well. I forgot what you call this. The actual, like, product packaging. But I really like it because it has, like, that 80s, 90s, like, modern packaging or, like, modern style that's kind of back in, in trend. And then the applicator I really like as well because it's like a a very interesting diamondy triangle shaped doe foot. And then I feel like I got a color that's a little bit too light, but I feel like I can definitely uh, I can definitely make it work once it's over a darker foundation. Um, and I could probably mix something a little bit darker in there as well. But so far, I like it. I feel like it's medium coverage. I did swatch it once before already. And I feel like it's a medium coverage that dries down to a, a satin powdery kind of finish. So I'm very interested in how it's going to work on the skin. But like I said, I will update you guys um, on all these products in a future video. Probably have to get another color though because it looks a little too light. But I'll make it work, girl. I'll make it work. <laughs> so pale right now. Okay, next thing I picked up is this Makeup by Mario Pencil. So when this collection or this brand first dropped, I was so excited about it. But then I heard a lot of people saying like they weren't into the palette and all that kind of stuff. So I just decided, you know what, I don't really need another palette and he don't need my money. But when I passed by the display, I saw this pencil and I was like, wait, hold on. I like pencils. I like very creamy pencils and those are hard to find. So let me see. So this is called the Master Pigment Pro Eye Pencil, and this is in the color The Perfect Brown. I will say this packaging is very unnecessary. There's like, what is this, like a little booklet in there? Like, it's just, I just feel like they added a bunch of shit to like make it feel bulkier. Oh, wait, I'm about to eat my words, girl. There's a pencil sharpener. I'm sorry, I take it back, Mario. I take it back. A pencil sharpener with the pencil? sis yes made in germany i'm here for it okay i take it back it's worth it so you get this nice packaging and then the actual pencil is really nice as well because there's a little brush at the other end if you want to smoke it out which is something i like to do and it's the perfect dark brown color so pretty blends out really really nicely as well um and i used it today in my waterline and I love how it looks on the waterline as a good alternative to black, especially with like a brown, um, like a bright lip like this. I feel like when you're doing a bright lip like this or anything that's not a nude lip, you kind of don't want to use black because it's too 
too dark and it looks kind of like tacky next to a bright lip like this but brown really adds that sultriness without being too Ugh. so <laughs> i really like this i haven't tried the little brush side let me see how i feel about it oh it's doing its thing i really like this because a lot of times i use like a mini a mini little brush for the lower lash line and it still doesn't tightly smoke out as much as i want and i really like that this mini little brush that comes with it really smokes it out without actually creating a, a bunch of excess product under the eye really creamy goes right into the lash line really excited about this um so yeah definitely going to be looking into more of those pencils i'm not sure if they had lip pencils but if he has lip pencils i will be trying those as well so yeah foundation concealer eyeliner i also picked up um my little birthday gift the nars birthday gift which is the mini laguna bronzer look how cute and little and then it's the mini laguna little lip balm so pretty it's just a nice little like brownie nudie kind of color which i really like i think i'll definitely get some use out of that especially in the summer and then i also picked up from fenty the what do you call this the gloss balm cream yeah I really, really wanted this. They didn't send me these in PR. Sometimes they send me stuff, sometimes they don't. Um, but this they didn't. But it's okay, because the only color I really wanted was this one in the brown. But I got this one first just to test it out. I got the Cunny the Cunny the color Honey Waffles in number three. And it is so yummy looking. Ugh. Like look at that. And then I just I'm obsessed. Like it's so yummy. That's the only way I can describe it. Look at that color. I feel like this is the perfect orangey brown for people of color. I think that on top of a nude lip with a smoky eye is just uh, like gorgeous. Like can't wait to use it. Doesn't really have a scent. Oh, speaking of scents, the Selena Gomez, um, the Rare Beauty concealer does have a scent. And... It seems like they took the scent out of the Huda Beauty foundation. Which is disappointing because I liked the rose scent in the foundation. Yeah, they took it out because I'm smelling the rose on the old foundation and on the new one I don't smell anything. Oh, that's so sad. I loved it. I wish I would have bought some before they changed the formula. Uh, I would have bought like five of them. I'm so sad. I really liked the original. You guys suck. All you guys that complain about everything. You ruined it. You ruined it. Okay. Um, oh, I also picked up from uh, JLo Beauty the star filter. The instant complexion thing. I, I want to try the the skincare but i have a lot of skincare and i don't feel like spending the money like i love my girl jlo but i have a lot of skincare and i want to get through a lot of what i have so but i did want to try something so i got the star filter i'm so excited to see jlo beauty because it's like i've been such a fan you know my entire life and um i've wanted to see a jlo glow product for years and we finally have it so this is her bronzy like liquid highlighter type of product caught that really nicely i got the shade rose gold i believe because i think it's the perfect one for skin tone because i'm not quite yellow and i'm not dark enough right now for the bronze um but i feel like this one could transition into any season look at that it's so pretty this I feel like you could really put like all over your body and it gives you the perfect amount of color and glow without looking super dark and stupid. Like it just enhances, it just enhances your, like I feel like it enhanced my skin tone and gave me a really subtle glow. It's not soup, it's not sticky, it's drying down which I really like. It dried down completely. It's not sticky. It doesn't even feel like anything's on my skin. My skin still feels dry. You hear that? Yeah, dry. It's not 
super sticky doesn't have a ton of glitter or pigment it literally doesn't look like i put anything on it literally looks like i just have a natural tan and i actually really like that um i'm here for it so i'll probably get a darker one in the summer let me see what it looks like on the skin i'm putting a little bit on my high points I really like that it's not a sticky product. It's very lightweight. I really like that. It's different. It's not sticky. It dries down completely. And it's not oily. I really like that because everyone else's products are oily, sticky, heavy, glittery. This isn't like that. It's really a complexion booster. I'm so here for it. Now I want all the colors. In the summer, I'm definitely going to get the darker one. All right. And then last for Sephora, I picked up um, Gucci Guilty Perfume, which I used to love this perfume so much. If you guys watched my perfume video on my main channel, I talked about this perfume. And I was like, oh, I had this years ago, and I don't have a new one. Well, girl, I bought me a new one um, because I was thinking about it so much. And then I got a candle that smelled like it. And I was like, oh my God, I need to get me a Gucci Guilty. So I got a little bottle of it. Isn't this packaging to die? Like it's so gorgeous, so chic. And I love it because it's one of those designer fragrances that's on the cheaper end than most of them. And it smells so good. And it's such a chic little bottle. Like you could throw this in your purse, but you could still display it really 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 love this perfume smells so good pick that up i love perfume you guys know how many times can i say it um so that's everything for sephora i showed you guys everything else yeah so that's the whole thing but since i'm talking about beauty i wanted to share with you guys our lashes my lascano lashes if you didn't know i have my own brand and we have lashes and we have this limited edition packaging for february this gorgeous pink marble packaging and then inside you get your little rose gold glitter box and your lashes. We have two styles of lashes. These are the Gigi lashes that are like flared. And then I'm wearing the mermaid lashes that are more wispy. And these are the mermaid lashes so you guys can see. I love, love, love these. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. I'm obsessed with these lashes. So yeah, back in stock right now. Pick them up before they're gone. That's everything for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Stay glam. Wow. <laughs>